The F-35 is going to be the first fifth generation aircraft in, in common use beyond the United States. It's a revolutionary aircraft, not only in its physical characteristics, which give it its extremely low radar signature, but in particular in the sensors that it's carrying and the way in which those sensors gather the information and fuse it together to give the best overall picture of the environment that any combat aircraft has ever had. The F-35 has got ability to get to places that other aircraft can't. One of the key things the F-35 is therefore able to do is to collect intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance information to pass back to the rest of the battle space through means that cannot be achieved by any other asset. All the requirements that we can foresee, but it can also talk to all the other aircraft, it can talk to uh, all the other air forces involved because this is going to be a common platform. The way that F-35 communicates with the rest of the battle space is using its multifunction advanced data link. This provides a stealthy, fat pipe for information and data to be flowed down to all the other users in the battle space. When we think about the sort of missions that F-35 is going to perform, it will have combat air missions when it will be working in concert with fourth generation fighters, for example, like the Typhoon. It'll have missions to support ground forces in the way that we've seen in, in many of the recent conflicts. But also, and most importantly perhaps, it is the key combat element of the carrier task group. If you can have the F-35 and the fourth generation fighters talking to each other, you have the ability for the F-35 to collect information on targets and pass that information stealthily to the fourth generation aircraft who are then able to deliver a kinetic effect to deliver missiles onto that target. One of the things I'd expect to see once the F-35 has been delivered is the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force working very closely to exploit the incredible capabilities of this aircraft. And that's something that UK forces have been very good at in the past, is taking a new asset and finding the most innovative and effective ways of using that capability. It will bring us a maritime air capability mixed with a land air capability uh, and it will join our forces up. Uh, jointry is the way forward. Uh, we can do together what we could not do in the past. Uh, this is a great aircraft that will be carrier-borne and indeed land-borne. The F-35 is the combat element of the new Queen Elizabeth class carrier capability and therefore it's absolutely vital that the aircraft becomes integrated into the network of the carrier task group in order to be able to combine all of the intelligence and other information to be able to prosecute those missions successfully. It will be the sharp end of the stick for the carrier task group.